Let's work on the Kwanzo technique and why it happens and how I can apply this in a real fight. So I will cut this technique into pieces that the knowledge and the understanding gets better. All right. So normally we are always in the Manzo Wuza position, the fighting position, right? It can be double fist, it can be open handed or with the palms to the front. If you stay with your palms forward, it means leave me alone, go away, but it's hidden the fighting stance. You can use that on the street, not to get sued from the other guy. So this speaks for itself, right? So you have to work smart, not hard. All right, so let's do it um, the first technique, right? I'm standing here with my um, foot in the front and in my uh, guarding stance. The opponent is now a Wing Chun guy, right? Later, he's a street fighter. Okay, so let's switch this way. So first movement is a Pak Sao. So good, only Pak Sao. So this Pak Sao brings my arm down. So I have to create, or well, he's creating a Bong Sao here. So this gets bent and I have to turn my arm into the Bong Sao. So in the last video, in the previous video, I told you with the pressures, right? If he pushes my arm down, I have to come back. So if he's controlling me, I, I'm creating a pressure against his arm. So I'm here in the bong sao. So my next technique would be when he's just pushing my arm down, punch him to the nose, right? I'm here, boom. And then I follow up here. This would be the first, first step. So the next step is he's punching me and I go against his arm. I don't care about his arm and he's not punching me and hitting me in the right angle so that I have to create the turn zone, right? So if you turn again, so now he has to be very good and has to attack my center line because we always attack from the center line. Like Yip Man said, the fist comes from the heart. I have to protect my heart and attack from my heart, right? And I have to retreat every time and come back to my chest, to my center line. So if he's doing a punch, and he's pushing me and he's stronger. Now I have to turn and do the Kwanzo. Okay, from here, I can follow up again. So this creates the Kwanzo. If he's not able to push me, I got him. So this is a movement, not willingly by myself. He has to force me into the Kwanzo position, right? It's a higher, higher, um, higher technique, but I want you guys to understand these movements, right? Every time when I um, get controlled with my arm, the other arm has to strike forward, all right? It's about attraction. So if he just pushed my arm down, my, my arm has to attract his body, his head. So I have to come back here. So immediately, as soon as possible, as fast as possible, and with much force as possible, all right? It's about to hit and not to get hit, all right? So he comes again. So, boom, 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 boom. The following movement, the bong sao, is not seeable. Again, if he comes faster, this is my movement. If he does a um, pak sao punch, this would move again here. There was a kwan sao, real quick, again. So, and I'm in center line. So it's, it's, it feels for him very ugly, very um, uncomfortable, but I have to control his center line. Otherwise, I get hit, right? I could go from inside also, but this time he's controlling my, my arm. So I have to get in the Tan Zhao and the Bong Zhao. It's a Quan Zhao movement. Okay, this is also a Quan Zhao. Rotating arms. I have to rotate with my arms and do the follow-ups. All right, if you have any questions again, just um, comment below. Don't forget to follow me and subscribe to my channel. See you next time.